Hey, what's going on, guys? Premise here, and I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to script a GY. Okay. <clears throat> So what this is going to be doing is increasing your speed as you click this button. All right. So let's open up a uh, view, go to view, explore properties. It's really it. I don't know why I have that. Output is just for me. You don't need it. <clears throat> but I'll use it just for look for errors. So right click starter GUI, insert object. I'm going to insert a screen GUI and then a button. E button text button alrighty not gonna really customize it though so let's in let's put a local script in it okay okay so in the local script so let's make a variable called player yours can be whatever you want but no, I'm just gonna shard player like that player equals game dot players dot local player okay so there's this function that we're gonna do. So we're gonna do script dot parent dot mouse button one click. So when mouse button one click, that is when you press. So we say say a button's like right here. You press and then right whenever you let go, then the event's gonna happen. Uh, there's mouse button down. So that's right like when you click, like right whenever you press it down, the event happens. And then up is like whenever you click, nothing happens. But whenever you let go of the click, whatever, it happens. You know what I'm saying? All right. I hope you understand. Okay. Mouse. But. Okay. Uh, and then. Uh, I thought there was a mouse button hover or something like that. Whatever. Just trying to make you guys understand and know what the difference between them are. Okay, so script.parent. So if you don't understand what script.parent is, that is this is a script right here. Dot parent. So we want to get the parent of the script. So this is the child. This is the parent. So script.parent dot mouse button one click. So once we click and colon connect. Alright, I'm back. Alright, so press just press enter after this. Okay, so what we just did is made a function, okay? And then press enter, and then it should add this in with a colon. Oh my god, how do not a colon? Parentheses. I'm stupid. Okay, uh, tab. Also, tabbing your code, like you see where the. Um, damn. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Okay. Can't explain stuff very well. Because I'm stupid. So, we made a function that whenever you click the button. So now, we want to put the code in. So let's think about it. What do you want to happen whenever you click the button? So what we want to happen is our player, our own player, increases in speed. Okay. So we made a variable called player. So what this variable is, is our own player. This is not everybody. This is our own player. So if I click it, that my speed changes. That's what we're trying to do. Player die. And then we want to go into the character. So inside the player, there's the character. So let me show you. There's a difference between player and character. I'm so sorry, guys, if you guys don't understand what I'm talking about. I'm trying to explain it the best I can. So this is a player. So my name is player. So if I were to change this name to that. It should change, but I got it. There's an error because my name's not okay. Whatever. That's a player right here. Our player does not hold our parts of our body. What holds our parts is inside of workspace. This is a, the our character right here. This holds all of this, the parts and shirts and all that stuff. So what we're trying to do is go inside our character, and then in humanoid, there's a property called what we're looking for walk speed right here so normal speed is 16 so we want to change this to whatever you want you could also change all these things if you wanted to click the button you can change the health or whatever 
So player dot character, and then we want to go into the humanoid. Humanoid dot walk speed, and it is case sensitive. Walk speed equals 100. Just say that. So once we click the button, then our walk speed changes to 100. All right. So let's just open up, go into our player, go into our humanoid, and just look at the walk speed. So click, changes to 100. There, look, we're walking fast. So yeah, yeah, guys, yeah, yeah. And if we put this inside a script, a normal script, it would not work because local player, this just does not work in a normal script. It only works in a local script. You know what I'm saying, man? Okay, now. Okay. Well, let's see what else we can do with this. So once we click, then we have the um, player that walks the deck. Okay, we have their walk speed. Let's see if we do a plus. Plus. Uh, let's do walk speed. Oh, I'm so no, 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 no. Equals plus. Now, I believe this would do the same thing. Let's see. Yeah. Wait. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. This is what it did. So. You see how it's one, uh, how it's every time you click, it's gonna add up a uh, plus 100. Okay, so let me explain. So once we click, then it takes our our walk speed. It's not changing right here. This is just taking our walk speed, which our walk speed is was 16 before. So 16, then it equals to player dot character dot walk speed so that's another 16 right here plus 100 so every time you click is gonna go plus 100 if you guys understand alright well I hope you guys enjoy please request for some more tutorials I would love to make some more this was not requested it's just I'm kinda bored right now at the moment nothing to do so I just wanna give you guys something to practice I guess so Peace out, guys. Yeah. <laughs>